What is going on everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. I am not about to rob a bank. Let me take this thing off. I know it looks ridiculous on me, but this video was a really good idea. It was left on my YouTube channel. Someone recommended that I compare store brand foods to name brand foods. So that is what we're going to do today. I appreciate everyone that has already dropped the video a like and subscribe to the channel. You all are the real MVP. So as you can tell, I've got a wide range of foods and I am somewhere in the middle. You know, there's some foods, I think store brand is fine, but there's others. I am insistent on the name brand. So let's just jump straight into this and start comparing. And you know, Megan brought up a good point last night and said HEB probably wasn't the best idea considering HEB is only in one country, Texas, but I figured that the only store that everyone would have around them in the United States is Walmart and you all know how I feel about Walmart but most store brands are about the same so I think this will be transferable wherever you are in the world so being that I'm here alone it's gonna be a little bit difficult to keep it completely anonymous but I'm gonna try my best I'm going to have two identical plates two identical bowls the store brand is gonna be the one with the pink dot on the bottom so I figured this would be as simple as possible So the food that I am most interested in is cereal because I could eat endless amounts of this. I love it, but it's kind of expensive. The name brand was $3.50 and the store brand was $1.98. This does have two fewer servings, but still it's significantly cheaper. But what I've noticed when I look at the ingredients, even though the macronutrients are almost about the same, there is more filler in the store brand. There's more sugar, so that's something to keep in mind. A lot of times, if you're paying more, you're probably getting more. That's just a rule of thumb. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to put this bandana on my face, because we are gonna keep this as true as we can, and I'm just gonna start swirling these guys around. Okay, so now I really have no idea which one is which. So that is how we are going to do this. Gonna add a little bit of almond milk. Tastes like Frosted Flakes to me. I was gonna make a really bad joke about how they're great. They're great. It's too early in the video for bad jokes. So let's try this one now. It's pretty close. Let me try a few more bites. I think I've made a decision. The one that I feel is a little bit better is this one on the left. So, ah, it is the name brand. So you should be able to see it. I obviously don't want to flip this around too much, but there's a pink dot on the bottom of this bowl, which indicates it is the store brand. And I could tell, you know, a little bit of a difference. It wasn't significant, but this one just tasted more, I guess, authentic. I don't know what I mean, but this cereal, in my opinion, was better. So while we are on breakfast, we might as well just hit up one of the best foods on planet Earth, Pop-Tarts. Now I can say that there's some Pop-Tarts from Target, the pumpkin ones specifically, that are better than the Kellogg's Pop-Tarts. But let's see how this goes with the classic, the brown sugar cinnamon, which I would argue Kellogg, I think it's Kellogg. I might be wrong about that. These guys right here with the traditional box have mastered this Pop-Tart. So let's verify that the pink sticker is the store brand. They look identical. Okay, so I don't know if it'll make you guys feel better if I put the blindfold on when I ate, but that just, it honestly makes me feel a little bit violated. But we're gonna do it anyway, just so I can make sure that we're being fair here. So let's give this one on my left a try. Tastes like a Pop-Tart to me. Let me find my water here. I'm gonna make a guess. I think that this one, I guess I can take this off now. I think this one is the store brand, but I liked it more. It tasted like it had more cinnamon. So that's gonna be my guess. Let's see if I'm right. Oh my goodness. I know my Pop-Tart. So I've said it about other flavors as well. I'm gonna go store brand when it comes to Pop-Tarts. Okay, I'm gonna move on to something with a little less sugar, help cleanse the palate, you know, and I'm gonna talk about a food that I'm very 
very passionate about rice cakes. I just feel like these should be a staple in everyone's diet. They are so good. So this is a food you can clearly tell a difference just by looking at it. And that's one of the things I love about these is that they hold up very well. But we're just basing this off of taste alone. These were $1.98. These guys right here were 250, so a little bit more expensive. And I believe the macronutrients on this are almost identical as well as the ingredients. I just have a vision of one of these plates flying off of the counter and I would be so, so mad. I need to make sure that my bandana is very tight for this one because I can tell just by looking at them which is which. So, in traditional lefty fashion, I'm gonna start with the one on the left first, but I'm gonna break a piece off because I can already tell by texture usually. So I think this should be a pretty fair trial. So that right there, that is a rice cake. All right, let's give this one a try. Guys, I'm a rice cake Phenom. I know for certain that this one on the left, this is the real rice cake. This one was just pretty bland. Am I right? I can tell by looking at it, I am. Let's confirm with the pink sticker on the bottom. Rice cakes, guys, this is something that you do not play around with. You get the name brand or else you get crap. I don't, I don't understand. What? How does that... Did I just get trolled? I don't think it... It doesn't have a... I hate to be so biased already, but the fact that the Chips Ahoy has that, I mean, that almost seals the deal. But this one does say made in Texas, and I've never, ever experienced so much pride in my life because I'm from Ohio. You would never see something proudly made in Ohio, but these damn old Texans, come on. <laughs> So it really is weird talking to you guys without being able to see you, but the name brand was I think $2.56 and the store brand was $1.33. So about double the price, which is which is pretty substantial if you ask me. So we're gonna give this one a try first. Could just be the batch, but it was a little bit too crunchy and not sweet enough for me. So let me cleanse the palate. I can say with certainty that this one was better. I can't remember by looking at them which one it is though. This one had the right amount of crunch, not overly crunchy, but it just had more sweetness. It was just sweeter. I don't know why I said that. Uh, so this is the Chips Ahoy. You guys can see like this one right here is the store brand. So, man, I'm gonna give another point for Chips Ahoy, but again, double the price. So. I'm just gonna save you guys the time and let you know the Cheez-Its are superior to off-brand Cheez-Its. I don't even know why I bought those, but this one will be interesting. I don't know why I love these bars so much, but Fiber One bars, granola bars, these are the types of foods I just really enjoy. But before we do that, I'm gonna throw these in the oven so they're ready to go by the time I'm done. Unfortunately, at the store, they didn't have an equivalent to this size pizza, so I had to buy the whole thing. It looks like I'm gonna be having a fun Saturday night. If I get chocolate on this thing, Megan is gonna kill me. Okay, I'm gonna have to tear these up because this one is double the size, so I would automatically know which one it was. Store brand was $1.38, the name brand was $2.37. So definitely a little bit more expensive. I'm gonna have to wrap the bandana because you can obviously see that there's a difference in this. Let me just make sure that you guys can tell. The pink is the store brand. Someone makes me a bird box meme and sends it to me, I will love you forever. So let's get to it. I'm gonna try this one. That was actually really, really good. I enjoyed that. So that one, it was a little softer, a little sweeter, tasted a little bit better. So I'm guessing that one is the store brand, or sorry, this one is a name brand, which it is, I can tell, with the chocolate on top. So it's not, it's not really, you know, an apples to apples comparison, because it did have more chocolate, it's double the calories. You know, I don't believe in the whole everyone gets a trophy type thing, so I've gotta give it to the store brand, but this is still, still a very, very good option. You know what, I'm done with the blindfold. We are just gonna keep the bias out of it, and I'm gonna tell you, this is the DiGiorno's pizza. It looks and smells amazing. 
That is pretty good. This one, unfortunately, does not look as good, but I'm guessing that's my fault. I probably left it in there too long. I was trying to be efficient and cook them both at once. Never a good idea. Looks can be deceiving. That is, that is some good pizza. You know, this actually just confirms my belief that all pizza is amazing, including store brand. And considering that it's really probably just as good, if not better than this DiGiorno, and that entire pizza was less money than this little small pizza, I'm gonna have to give pizza up to store brand. All right guys, so just a quick, simple video for today. Let me know what you all think about this down below. Obviously, it didn't take me a lot of time to make these types of videos. Personally, it's probably not a video that I would wanna watch, but I got a lot of good feedback when that person left a comment and I asked you all what foods I should try, so you guys gave me these suggestions. And that is that. So let me know in the comments down below. I wanna know one food that you rely on for store brand and one food that you have, that has to be name brand. Let, let me know. And if you guys disagree with any of my opinions, obviously I wanna know that as well. The internet was only made so you can disagree with other people. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. But thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. That really does help me out a lot and I look forward to talking to you guys next time.